Let's run some numbers again from the video I uploaded recently pertaining to Erie County. You see the links in the video description. Some numbers I ran e recently at Erie County uh, adult arrest, arrest demographics. I should have collated this data from 2016 to 2018, then 2019 to 2021 to calculate how much the Black Lives Matter riots and whining caused the arrests for blacks to skyrocket or go down. I did not do that to, for Erie County. I will do that for New York City. As you'll see, Black Lives Matter, uh, the Ferguson effect is uh, being seen. Of the 75,560 adult arrests in New York City 2016 to 2018, categorized as violent, 54.84% of the arrestees were black. Of the 68,760 adult arrests in New York City 2019 to 2021, categorized as violent, 2019 to 2021, 54.98% of the arrestees were black. Slight increase. New York City is only 24, roughly 24% black. Let's do Monroe County, which is not a super duper Democrat enclave as it is below the 60% mark, but it is very close and it contains the toilet known as Rochester, which is a super duper Democrat enclave. Of the 3,498 adult arrests in Monroe County, New York, 2016 to 2018, categorized as violent, 62.55% of those arrestees were black. Of the 3,124 adult arrests in Monroe County, New York, 2019 to 2021, categorized as violent, 66.93% of the arrestees were black. Monroe County, New York is roughly 16.2% black. Let's look at Tompkins County, New York. Are you paying attention? Do you notice a trend so far? Tompkins County, New York. Of the 242 adult arrests in Tompkins County, 2016 to 2018, categorized as violent, 31.4% or 76 of the arrestees were black. Of the 168 adult arrests in Tompkins County, 2019 to 2021, categorized as violent, 38.69% or 65 of the arrestees were black. Paying attention, you've seen that trend. Tompkins County is only 4.4% black. Now Albany County, New York, which also leans seriously towards the Democrat Party. Of the 1,673 adult arrests in Albany County, 2016 to 2018, categorized as violent, 58.75% of the arrestees were black. Of the 1,453 adult arrests in Albany County, 2019 to 2021, categorized as violent, 61.18% or 889 of the arrestees were black. Albany County is 14.1% black. Now let's look at data across the entire state of New York. Of the 115,916 adult arrests in New York State, 2016 to 2018, categorized as violent, 50.7% or 58,778 of the arrestees were black. Now that doesn't mean they were necessarily guilty, but you get a pretty good, you get a pretty good sample here. Of the 103,000, you're innocent until proven guilty. Well, unless, unless your name's Donald Trump or Rand Paul. Of the 103,622 adult arrests in New York State, 2019 to 2021, categorized as violent, 51.56 the arrestees were black. New York State is 17.6% black. You may have noticed a few other things. One, the number of adult felony arrests categorized as violent decreased in the latter time frame, 2019 to 2021, in every single jurisdiction I looked at. So that's a pretty good sample. While homicide rates in Democrat-run cesspools increased markedly. Notice I said Democrat-run cesspools because the, when the Democrats talk about a gun violence epidemic, homicide epidemic, no. Western Iowa does not have a homicide epidemic. Idaho does not have a homicide or gun violence epidemic. Wyoming does not have that. Most of Texas does not have that. Most of Minnesota does not have that. Most of Wisconsin does not have that. Most of Michigan. So don't fall for that. This is the Ferguson effect as part of the explanation. Black Lives Matter and their nuclear family hating collectivist pukes, puke allies in the antique media intimidated police into less proactive policing. That meant fewer police in the problem areas 
which means fewer arrests because if they're it takes them several minutes to get there and the no snitch culture it takes them several minutes to get there because they're not there unless they're called they're not proactively there so they're minutes away that means fewer arrests all else being equal Secondly, the percentage of arrestees being black also increased in the latter time frame in all jurisdictions I looked at. Don't forget, black lives matter. Just as I did last time, let's add another jurisdiction as some icing on the cake. In California, and we're going to keep this going. I did that one to, uh, that the divorcee, well, I was going to say the toady divorcee Stan Cedar, but Stan Cedar and Old Fart Rants are both multiple divorcees. But this will be part two. We're going to keep going with this. In California from 2010 to 2019, and I've already put all this out, but it's uh, hammering at home is a good thing. In California from 2010 to 2019, 26.34% of the murder, arrest, murder arrestees were black. 46.7% were Hispanic. 20.06% were white. And 6.89% other. Gee, I wonder why Asians are assimilating fine, ha you having usually intact families, not snorting drugs up their noses, or shooting up and not butchering each other in hood. It's because they're at home doing homework. Because daddy's there, and they know daddy uh, will drop the hammer. From 2010 to 2019, 28.55% of the murder victims in California were black. 43.4% were Hispanic, 20.32% were white, and 7.3% were other. Plenty of black-on-black -black homicide happening in the Golden State, too. California, 6.5% black, 36.5% white alone, 39.4% Hispanic, and 15.5% Asian. So, uh, figure out, I'll have to do another one of these at some point, but uh, arm yourself with the truth. Uh, so... When the Black Lives Matter clowns come around and they start saying, oh, it's a red herring black on black homicide, uh, no. See links in the video description and have a nice day. And don't thank me for the facts. And there goes my phone.